Hey, 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 welcome, hey, welcome back, back to Clean Cut, where we can talk, we can talk about, about the truth about just about, just about anything. anything. As, long as, as long as we use logic, we use logic and, and common, common sense. sense. Last time, we looked at what a basis for knowledge is and how to avoid diving headfirst into hopeless ignorance through terminal undercutting. We concluded that simple statements about truth are the most basic of all bases for knowledge, and now the means to use those simple statements to learn new things. Our two simple statements of truth were, a thing is what it is, and a thing is not what it is not. We know that these are true, because any statement denying these also denies the foundations of its own truth content, undercutting itself. So, with that established, there's no longer any need to propose silly notions like, well, truth isn't real anyway. A thing is always what it is. Truth is therefore truth, meaning that it really exists. Falsehood is always falsehood, meaning that no falsehood is ever correct. However, there's another thing we can learn from this. Truth is not falsehood, and falsehood is not truth. You don't learn the truth by lying or believing lies. You might learn the truth in spite of someone's lie, or because you've seen through their lies, but the deception itself can never be a reliable means of getting at the truth. You've got to stick with true knowledge if you want to learn true things. Now for the next step. Suppose that I say a turtle has scales and you say it has no scales. Can both of these things be true of the same turtle at the same time? No, because these are different things and truth is not contrary to truth. Truth is truth. From this simple example, we can learn our first method for identifying truth. Avoid all contradictions. With falsehood, this isn't an issue, because falsehoods can be false in contradictory ways and remain just as false, but truth can't contradict truth. In logic, we refer to this as the law of non-contradiction, and it is as basic as logical reasoning methods get, one of the three classic laws of thought. So we know that avoiding contradictions is one of the key ways to acquire truthful information of every sort. In the modern world, we use the word consistency to describe this. Being consistent in our claims, therefore, is essential if we want to learn the truth. So we can conclude that any statement which is a self-contradiction or is contradicted by another proven statement must not be true and must therefore be a falsehood. Next time, can this teach us a basis for evidence? That's, That's all for, all for now, now, so, so keep, keep asking, asking questions, questions, and thanks, thanks for watching. For watching.